welcome to my 27th quilt unveiling. Um, this quilt was a, a change for me, although they all are pretty much different. Um, the quilt I made before this, the super quilt, the one with the superman in the center, was uh, very challenging. There were no two pieces uh, the same size or shape. So figuring it all out, how to put it together, and then sewing it, and before you ever even started doing the quilting the layers, uh, was uh, often almost traumatic. <laughs> uh, this one, it, uh, I felt I had to uh, pull back from being so wild. <laughs> and um, um, so I'm using just two shape uh, squares. They're squares with a um, diagonal triangle division. But they are in different sizes, but I figured if I could get them all to um, be multiples, I could do it. All right. And then I also had three panels of fabric that I had brought back from Bali through the years that I really did not want to cut. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to figure out a way to put those into it without um, cutting them. So this is it, the Bali quilt. Ooh. Margaret asked me to make some comments, and I generally hate to be put in that position, but uh, the quilt, and I don't know Margaret really, we met briefly uh, a couple of, maybe a month ago for a brief time, so I don't know any of her, of her past work, but I must say that I find this piece to be just, to be extraordinary, a kind of a, a Harmonic explosion yes. comes to, to my mind. The, uh, the use of these really beautiful, very traditional Balinese pieces, and to take them without destroying any of that image and somehow integrating it into this extraordinary surface is, is really exciting. The, the use of, uh, of repetition but if you look closely there really isn't any repetition each square each block is very very different although composed of the same uh, mostly the same fabrics the the movement the life throughout the quilt starting it when with these things and it wick out and quiver and everywhere you go you get this this kind of thing which just the whole thing just vibrates for me uh, Are you talking really about the pattern extreme. or the quilt? I very much pattern. like the use of a basic traditional quilt block, historical quilt block. This is very clear, clearest scene here probably, <clears throat> and yet jazzed up and transformed into this very contemporary surface. Uh, the way the light moves through it, you know, kind of moving through here and around, it's really very wonderful. Anyway, that's. That's my immediate reaction to, to the quilt. <laughs> thank you. Oh, well, thank you. Or are you just working on, you were saying unrolling it, so only a portion of it is visible. I the design time. the quilt on the wall. You do? The, the pieces. The with, I don't show anything together. Nice. It's all, I know exactly what's going to have to go together um, be, before. Okay. Before I start, I wondered how you could use the, such a unified composition if you're only looking at a part of it. Exactly. Yeah. No, I can't. You do yours on the, the surface like that. Uh -huh. You almost have to. Although I, 
I try to keep the designs as uh, free flowing as possible as I'm working. I mean, I, I have what I think I'm going to do in mind, but I try to be very open to changes as they come along. Yes, and I'm sure that's the fun of it. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, you think something is going to work, and then all of a sudden you discover something else. So a little bit of fabric jumps out at you, and you think, oh, that has to go there. Yes, yes. yes. Thank you.